at the MCG, umpire Ian Robinson bounces the ball starting the second quarter of the 1974 Grand Final. As we go into the second quarter, we find the scoreboard reading. Richmond 3-8, leading North Melbourne 3-2. North going into attack now, kicking up to what appears to be the scoring end, the scoreboard end, but Robbie McGee, with nonchalance, takes the mark, turning out another attack. McGee, beautiful left foot kick. Right up towards centre half forward, up they go, Green is in there, has the ball taken away. In comes Keith Gregg, eventually gets his kick over the centre. Wayne Walsh goes up high there, oh good mark for Walsh. Beautiful mark. Boy, and he had to do it the hard way. Walsh tries a hand pass across here towards Sproul. Sproul dominated early in the first quarter. It's a glorious kick by Sproul into the forward zone. Plenty of North backmen there. Two comes coming, but I think it's a free kick going North's way. Farron got one right around the neck, there was no doubt and he will take the free. Lou. A free kick to Farron, a 15 metre penalty against Richmond for wasting time. This brings him out midway between fullback and centre half back positions. Only six points the difference in favour of the Tigers. The ball hits the ground now, grabbed by Felton, in a bit of trouble, but takes his time and gets the ball out of danger. Round towards that wing position, the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds on the centre wing position. With Richmond being reasonably held in that first quarter. Only six points in front after kicking pretty poorly. North very nervous for about the well, first 15 minutes. Starts. Yes, Michael, the Tiger defence, Bartlett going after the ball there, couldn't pick it up. Got a bit of a hard knock there uh, from Peterson, but he seems to be OK as the ball comes down. Davis can't pick it up, neither can Bartlett. Davis gets oh, it out. Yeah. Actually threw at that time to Cable. Up towards there, the forward pocket, but coming across is Andrews to take a safe mark. Gareth Andrews, still carrying on the good work from the other final. Oh, Mark to Ryan. A beautiful mark. Ryan, he's played pretty well uh, so far. As he drives the ball up towards the forward pocket, they fly. There's a mark. No, he didn't pay it. Oh, Bartlett's grabbed the ball. I thought he'd pay that mark to Baker. And there's a mark to, uh, to Greg. And he's playing very well, Greg. He and Wood usually have a great battle, but he's on top at the moment. And it means a lot to North Melbourne. Green, the 1974 Brownlow medalist. He's a long way out. It's up into the goal square. The pack set themselves. Neither side can take the mark. Peterson's got it. Tries to hook it back, but it's finally smothered by Burke and the ball is out of bounds. It's about 30 metres around from the North Melbourne goal. Six points the difference in favour of Richmond. Sam has a snapshot for goal, but it's covered. Wade gets it out the cable, but he wasn't quick enough and the ball is out of bounds. This time it's about 15 metres around from the north goal. They're not giving up today, North Melbourne. They're desperate. Green and Kekovic. Axby Davis couldn't pick that one up. Kekovic is trying to get it out. And the umpire will ball it up about 45 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Umpire Robinson bounces. Players move in. Kekovic is in there. Green goes up with him. Green got his hand to it. Tapped it down to Sheedy in beautiful fashion. Sheedy back to the halfback flank on the other side. And Rantel, a screamer. Oh, boy. Johnny Rantel, a beauty. There's his kick. Going deep into the forward zone there for North Melbourne. Andrews, he'll be paid it. And the North Melbourne crowd object. Gareth Andrews, what a player he's been for the Tigers since coming from Geelong. To the wing position, Goodingham knocks the ball away. Cable tried to take it on the half volley, couldn't do so. Butters up, gets it over to Davis. Davis over to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush running in, gets his kick. That's right to the edge of the goal square. There's Wade once again. Jostle Dick play out of position, but Andrews comes through, relieving the pressure once again. What a game he's playing. A big kick by Andrews. Ryan is out there. Ryan, oh, he's trying hard to turn. Eventually he does so. Ryan back into the forward zone for North. North putting the pressure right on. McGee! Ah, oh, yes. Yes, there's some disputing that mark, but I certainly wouldn't. McGee in the back pocket. On the outer side. Up the scoreboard end. Good kick. Back towards the wing position. They all fly for it. Eventually, Ryan tries to push the ball in front of him. Cable's got it. Cable now into the forward zone once more. Wade is there. Beats everybody. But again, it's Gareth Andrews. Andrews back to the halfback flank on that outer side. Plenty of pushing and shoving. Ryan is in there. In comes Burke. But the ball beats him over the line. And there'll be a throw in on North's half forward flank on the outer side. It's about 80 metres around from their goal. North Melbourne trying desperately to get a goal now. Knocked out by Goodingham, as a go now. Davis fires for the goals. 
It looks good. And scores are level. Beautiful play that time by Goodingham. Five minutes into the second quarter of the 74 grand final, scores level. Over to Cable, and Cable gave it to Davis. And we see a beautiful goal now, and scores at that level. This is a different tune of that uh, first match they played at Waverley Park. Uh, second Michael. semi, yeah. The second semi. We find North Melbourne staying with Richmond at the moment. Back to the centre again. Right, now it's Bamte, he's grabbed. Oh, holding the ball against him. He's whacked, uh, what Davis got one that time, right in the, in the eye. Playing a pretty good game today, Davis too. Barry Davis. A long kick, a drop kick up towards centre half forward. Up go the pack. That's Kale to go now. Can he pick it up? Baker gets the ball out now to Peterson. In goes Shimmerbush. There's the bar for breaking clear. Right. Well, great play by Richmond defence. Oh, good mark for Green. And he plays on. Look at Green go. As he sends the ball up towards that half forward line. Has to go now for Feltham. He's grabbed. Back towards Cable. Can he get clear? He straightens up, hooks the ball back, and a mark to kick it in. Wade's got it. And he's well within kicking distance, about 45 metres out from goal directly in front. And he's already kicked one goal to make his 100th for the year. Here he goes now, Wade. About 45 metres out. Oh, it's a bad one. It's a goal. Oh! If, if that's bad, Louis, I'd like to see a good one, boy. And North in front, and Wade has kicked 101 goals for the year, and two today. And we're at the... Just trying to work this out. A hand shaking. Seven-minute mark into the second term. Wade, two goals on the board. Don't tell me they've lost another football. Well, the police are moving up amongst the crowd there. That's the second ball they've lost so far in this game. Up that particular end, too. Somebody up there must know who's doing it. Well, I wouldn't venture to say it's the same person. He'd have a lot of uh, trouble hiding two footballs up his shirt. Back in the centre. Crowd coming to life here at the MCG as Robinson bounces. There we go, it's a beautiful bounce. The big man fly, a knock away to Balm. Richmond trying hard to go into attack. A free kick to Kevin Sheedy. Sheedy a little short of the centre. Races around his opponent. Puts his boot into it. It's a long driving kick by Kevin Sheedy. Green from behind, Smith in front. A chance here for Barry Richardson. Could have got a free kick too. Taken there by Thorpe. Thorpe bases away and puts it through for one behind. Five points of difference now in favour of North Melbourne. Can they take out their first premiership ever? Or will Richmond go on and take it out for the second successive year? Farrant is at fullback now. Dench, let's see where he's gone. The kick now from uh, Farrant is a good one. They all fly. Nobody comes down with the ball. A chance for Morris. Morris of Richmond puts them into attack once again. Bradley Smith is moving across and takes a strong mark. He can play on the back line, this fellow. Smith. Back to the half-back flank now, to the outer side of the ground. Goodingham and Walsh. Goodingham far too tall, but Walsh is sticking to his guns and they take it over the line. There'll be a throw-in. Richmond's half-forward flank on the outer side of the ground. Out of bounds on that half-forward flank, a, a long way away from the goal. About 80 metres. Knocked out by Goodingham, but there's a free kick to Goodingham. Against Green. He's playing a pretty good game in the ruck too, Goodingham. Very sensible. There's a hand pass coming over to Davis. Backing up well as the ball goes up the centre half forward. McGee couldn't hold that one. Cable's got a chance. He's grabbed. He's breaking clear now. Let's see what the Francis Burke. He gets away, gets a kick. Here's the go now for Wade. He's got it. He's right on the boundary line about uh, 45 to 50 metres out from goal. He's already kicked two. And this is a mighty difficult shot. Doug Wade. 101 goals for the year. The kick by Wade. Oh, what is it? It's a goal! That's his third. And they're 12 points in, uh, 11 points in front now, North Melbourne. 3-9, 27 Richmond, 
for North Melbourne, 6-2, 38 of the 10 minute mark of the second quarter. Wade has kicked two goals in two and a half minutes. And the North fans starting to go wild already, but oh, there's a long way to go. And Richmond have got a ton of talent out there. Ryan and Barn. Ryan will get the free kick. No, oh, it's against uh, Ryan. It's going to Barn. Barn, oh, it's a magnificent kick. Deep into the forward zone. Richardson's in there. Ball knocked away from him. They're after it. A chance for Sproul. Sproul takes it well shepherded from the pocket. Sproul kicks right across the face of goals. Will there be a mark awarded to Sheedy? Should be. And there will be. Oh, Sheed's trying to creep around there a little bit. Going to be difficult. He hand pass. Oh, look at that. Oh, the fingers. Oh, it was too easy. And Green has put one through. Oh, Louis, that was disgraceful. Well, they were asleep there, the North Melbourne defenders. They're all worrying about Sheedy running around. Let's have a look at that again. Well, it's so easy on our video disc. Now there's Sheedy, now look at the ease, there's Green on his own, there's nobody within metres of him. And that's the way to do it, I just said, don't sell uh, the Tigers out, and you saw how easy it was. Now we've got another Galar pinching a ball up there, and the police are going in. Well, I'll tell you the ball, this is the fourth new ball they've had in this match. Well I'll tell you what, uh, Michael, the Barassi wouldn't cop that too sweet, would he? No, oh he would be furious now. Well that was like a days to go play and uh, very little uh, uh, thought on the part of the uh, North Melbourne defenders. So it's back to the centre now waiting for the umpire to throw the ball down again. Only five points the difference in favour of North Melbourne. About 12 minutes gone of the second quarter. Knocked out that time by Barr. Chance for Barr but he can't go. Oh there's only a free kick there I'd say. Oh. He said play on. Burns can't pick it up. Belton gets it out the cable. Good play by Cable. Picked up well by Goodingham. A pass to Peterson. He's got the mark. He's a fair distance out from goal. He'd be about 70 metres out. What's he going to do? Have a shot? They're all giving him instructions to go for the long kick. There he goes now. Peterson. Oh, it falls short. And picked up by Gareth Andrews. Back it goes. Over Peterson's head. Knocked away again. Into the hands of Walsh. Knocked away by Falfa. Knocked away by Goodingham. Burke spins out of the pack beautifully. He's grabbed but still gets his kick. Out towards Walsh. Walsh going after the ball. It bounces the wrong way. There's Ryan. He can't pick it up. Walsh won't give in either. I think the umpire's found a free kick. Or is he going to ball it up? It'll be a ball up on the half forward line for um, North Melbourne. A long way out from their goal. Barr gets a long knockout but it's out of bounds. Up towards the wing position on the member's side with North Melbourne still leading by five points. And you're watching all this excitement of the 74 Grand Final on Channel 7. There's a throw in, Goodingham gets in front of Baum, Goodingham gets a tap away, picked up by Bartlett however, gets it down towards centre half forward for the Tigers, they all overrun the ball, Montgomery's got the run of it here. Montgomery in a bit of trouble, hand passes over to uh, Pagan, Pagan back in towards the centre but it's Richmond there through Kevin Sheedy, taking a strong mark. And David Dench creeping up in a 15 metre penalty. And so Sheedy moves closer to goal. Couldn't see him kicking the distance, but he'll put it right down there. It's right to the edge of the goal squad, swinging out a bit. And he put it, placed it beautifully for Roy's heart. I wondered what was happening when the ball swung out there. And then uh, you saw Royce Hart move across and take a very, very safe mark. Now Hart is only about 30 metres out. He kicks on. Oh, it's right through the centre for mine. And Richmond are in front of him by one point. That's Hart's first goal. And so if North players were sitting back thinking that uh, they're home and hosed, they've had one hell of a shock. 14 and a half minutes of the second quarter gone. Boy, I bet Barassi would be screaming about that one to Michael uh, Green. Well, it was a bad mistake on the part of the uh, North Melbourne defenders. Back to the centre now. Down she goes. Sheedy tried to knock that one. Not a good one. Going to as well. She certainly got it then. And the umpire says, players, it go with Drew Davis's oh. legs. 
This allows Morris to break clear. He has a long run, and he's put the ball just a bit in the goal square. Bradley Smith and Green. Green couldn't hold it. He's going after the game. Pan pass to Pag, and he's grabbed. There's a go now for Richmond, as we see Thorpe trying to pick it up. But he can't get to the, get up and kick it either, and the umpire will ball it up in that forward pocket position, as you can see right near the point post. Chance now for Hart. Going to take a wild turn, coming at his left, he's grabbed. Holding the ball. Good and decision. He got too happy about it. He was definitely over the ball and playing it, Lou. Great kick going down there to... Uh, what do you think? I thought it was holding the ball to Keith Greek. He sends the ball back towards that wing position. Bar on his own. Takes an easy mark at half forward. He's about 75 metres out from goal. Look at this oh, for a kick. kick. Right at the goal square. Back set themselves. They're all flying. And there's Sheedy going into the post. And look at those North Melbourne defenders jump on top of him. Sheedy appealing to the umpire for a free kick, but he's going to pull it up right against the point po goal post. He looked up more in hope than anger than Sheedy. Umpire Robinson. What will the North defenders do here? There they go, getting him a big knock away. A chance for Rantel. Haven't seen much of him in the second quarter. The ball has, hasn't been near him. I'm not knocking him when I say that. The ball now on Richmond's half-forward flank on the outer side. Picked up by Walsh. And he's put it over the line on the full. He was looking for Sheedy. Paul Falcon to take it. And old Shady up to a little trick of his out there. Plays dividends. The kick now going almost to the wing position on the outer side. McGee pushes the ball over towards Bartlett. Beautifully taken by Bartlett. Bartlett from the boundary line. Gets it down towards the pocket. Ball not clear here. In comes coming. Oh, he'll get a free kick. God, he doesn't. Back into the centre goes the ball, but in comes McGee of Richmond. Now uh, Richmond keeping the pressure right on. The ball smothered there by Smith. Oh, Smith goes over. But gets a hand pass across here towards Dench, but it's taken by Bartlett. Bartlett right back into the goal square. Green! Got to be paid. Got to be paid. Can he take a grab? Michael Green. Kicked that gift goal before that was handed to him by Kevin Cheedy. And now he's two metres out directly in front. And there's no known way he can miss it. There it is, right through the centre. And Richmond fight back in Tiger style. Hi, right, Gee Lou, won't you uh, stir this mob up? They've got the class, haven't they? Well, they're playing pretty well at the moment. Uh... There's only, what, uh, 11 points to difference, isn't it? No, it's only, what, uh, 7 points to difference. That's right. And uh, North not out of it by a long shot. Well, a couple of foolish mistakes, and he wasn't well covered that time. I thought it might have been a free kick to Bradley Smith when he was going through that time, but it wasn't spotted. So it's back to the centre now, waiting for the umpire to bounce the ball. Well, it's showing up in this quarter the experienced grand final team and the inexperienced grand final team. Well, that's right. Team. There we see uh, Sproul. Getting the ball back, punched away by Rantel, covered by Walsh, and he gets it down towards the half-forward line, going out to his club, he's got a mark. It's too good for Montgomery, and he'd be about 65 metres out from goal, on a very slight angle. Oh, it's a good kick, but it fears off at the last moment, and it's out of bounds on the full of a penalty free kick. We'll go down there uh, to Farrant in the back pocket. Seven points the difference in favour of Richmond approaching the 20 minute mark of the second quarter as the ball goes around now they're all having a go Peterson gets oh. a quick kick as he's upended oh there's a go now as we see the ball picked up by Ryan doing a pretty good job he's too late he's got a kick but there's Gareth Andrews in the way again and he's taken a mark at centre half back it took too long that time Ryan because Kikovic was in position the ball kicked around towards the wing position Greg and Wood. It looks as though uh, there could be a free kick here. Oh. It'll go too, uh, too hard for a push in the back. He missed one to Greg there. He did. Free kick going to Hart now. Out there towards the wing position. Up, actually up towards half forward. Kick by Hart. It's midway between centre half forward and full forward. Punched away by Goodingham. A go now. As the ball is picked up by Falfer. His kick is a poor one. And an easy mark by Sproul. A drop kick by Sproul. Up towards the forward pocket. Bradley Smith couldn't hold the mark. But he'll get a free kick. 
A free kick to Bradley Smith down there in the back pocket. Still seven points the difference in favour of the Tigers. 21 minutes gone of this overhand pass. A dangerous one, but Davis is OK. They run across goals. Taking the ball around the member side. Greg and Wood again. Now they get the mark. Wood backing up, but Greg's got it now. Oh, beautiful play. Magnificent play. A pass over here to Schimmelbusch. Schimmelbusch is going to run around his opponent. Hit of a go for the goals. Now it's Cable. Cable's mark. Oh, no. Hey, what a chance. Oh, but can't you feel for Barry Cable? Oh, can't you feel for Schimmelbush? He could have easily kicked it himself. Oh. Too anxious he was. He wanted to kick the goal before he got it. Oh, that's the way it goes, Lou. As Dick Clay kicks out. Six points of difference in favour of the Tigers. Goodingham doing a great job. Knocks the ball clear. In comes Francis Burke. Takes it over the line. He's going to go on to old Francis. Another throw in. Goodingham and Green. Goodingham has another tap away. Taken there by uh, Thorpe. He's grabbed high. Too high. And he will get the free kick. Thorpe covering a lot of ground today. He's all over the place. Hand pass across here goes to Burke. Francis Burke from the wing position on the outer side. Kicks in towards centre half forward. I don't know what he played that for, probably a trip, and Barn will take it. I'm not saying he shouldn't have played it. A push in the back, you think, Lou? So Barn is at the true centre-half forward position. He's a magnificent kick. Oh, it's a beautiful kick. It's a great kick. It's right through. Oh, a ripper. And so the scoreboard now reads Richmond 7-9-51, North Melbourne 6-3-39. 12 points of difference in favour of the Tigers. Well, let's put it into a tough position for North. They're trailing by 12 points and will have to do something pretty smart to stop this run of the uh, Tiger team. It's back to the centre again. Knocked out by Green, backed up by Sproul. Beautifully that time. And they're into attack again as the ball goes down towards that forward pocket. Punched away by Pagan. Grabbed here by uh, Hart. He fired. Now he goes for a short pass. It's a bad one. And the ball is out of bounds. I thought he was going to have a shot for goal there. Gee, it's a good game, Louis. Well, it's a great game and a very big crowd. Around about the 120,000 mark. Ball out of bounds. About five metres around from the uh, Richmond goal. Knocked out that time by actually Kekovic, I'd say. Trying to get to is Bradley Smith. And the umpire set out of bounds, and we see Thorpe appealing for a free kick. And Kekovic has been thrown onto the ball, Lou. Ball back into play again. Kekovic and uh, the bar. Back to bar, but he's hooked it right across the face of goals. Green's guard, uh, Richardson going for the mark. He can't hold it. But they're going at hard, those North Melbourne defenders. And what's the umpire going to do? Ball it up. This time it's in the forward pocket. About 45 metres out from that uh, Richmond goal. Baum battling hard there with Kekovic. Neither can get clear now. Big Sam and Baum. Baum's the one to come up with it. And the umpire's going to pull it up. About 25 metres out from the Richmond goal now. Gradually getting closer. Up it goes again. Sam Kekovic and Baum once more. Having a great tussle. There's Hart. He'll have a shot. It looks good. It's a goal. That's his second goal. Richmond are now 18 points in front. Eight goals, 9.57 for North Melbourne, 6 3, 39, approaching the 25 minute mark of the second quarter. Well, to be exact, Lou, uh, coming up to the 24 and a half minute mark, and I think 30 seconds is going to be all important in this game. Well, I'd say so, but uh, Britain, the North Melbourne side have gone to a bit of a lapse, Mike. That's right. They? Took the words out of my mouth, Lou. They've had a slump all round, actually. Up goes Ryan, knocks the ball away. I think that goal uh, that Green got earlier, the easy one, has shattered them a little bit. In comes Sheedy, tries a hand pass over towards Bartlett. In comes uh, Falcom, Sheedy once again, taken there by Rantel. Hand pass by Rantel. And boy, it's getting pretty scrambly as the ball goes to the wing position on the stand side. Burns knocks it away. Francis Burke is in there, plenty of opposition. And Burke knocks it over the line. He knew what to do in the crisis. 
throw in on the wing position on the stand side. Green gets up there, beautiful tap down, a chance for Cable, but it's taken by Francis Burke. Burke in towards centre half forward, up goes Cloak, knocks the ball clear. After this, Dennis Pagan of North Melbourne. Oh, Pagan kicks into his own man in Farrant. Doesn't get it very far at all. Whoa, they're going in. Dench and Bartlett. Bartlett takes it over the line, and there'll be a throw in. On the half forward flank for Richmond, on the stand side. Barn once again, oh beautiful, tap down to Thorpe, over to Sheedy, Sheedy steadies, kicks into the goal square, Smith is on his own, takes it, Smith of North Melbourne goes out towards the halfback flank on the outer side of the ground, Shimmelbush in possession, Shimmelbush in Walsh, oh it's a free kick to Shimmelbush, Jack Hill the blind miner can see that, he plays on immediately, hand passes and it's taken by Cumming of Richmond, Cumming gets clear of Feltham, oh runs into Cable, Sproul tries one off the ground with a free kick, is going to Feltham of North Melbourne. Well, it's Feltham to take the free kick at centre field. My God, it was a bit of a tragedy by Shimmerbush that time. A pass, it's oh. a bad one. They're making mistakes galore, North Melbourne, at the moment. As we see, Wood grab the ball. Into attack go the Tigers. Up the centre half, forward. And a beautiful mark taken by Hart. He's starting to fire now. Playing like the real champion that he is. Must be one of the greatest centre half forwards we've ever seen in football. He's only for the most of it, for most of his career, he's played only three parts fit. I'd hate to see him when he's fit. He's already kicked two goals. The kick by Hart. It's a glorious kick. It's a goal. And that's his third. Nine goals, nine. 63 points, Richmond. To North Melbourne, six goals, three. 39. Has Hart broken loose? He's kicked three goals in 12 minutes, Luke. Well, ever since that mark was dropped by Cable from the pass from Silverbush, they've got a piece. It seems to lift at the Richmond side, hasn't it? Cable had the chance of a lifetime to kick that goal. I guarantee he can chop his leg off. 24 points down now, North Melbourne. As Prowl breaks clear for the Tigers once again. A big kick into the forward zone. Bam! Oh! One behind. 25 points down now. North Melbourne. Well, if you want to look at it the other way, Richmond 25 points up and doing it well. Farron kicks out from the Richmond end, comes along the member stand flank. Oh, Wood goes up from behind, Rantel is there, Felton is bowled over. Wood of Richmond is still going, pushes it over the boundary line, there'll be a throw in. Midway between Richmond's half forward flank and the wing position on the stand side. Ryan comes in there with Green, there they go. A chance here for Richmond once again. Thorpe just couldn't get to it, but he's getting a free kick. Everything going Richmond's way at this stage. Been a good quarter for them. North Stars have been dimmed considerably. Down into the forward pocket it goes. On the stand side, knocked away. Sheedy's after it. Read it beautifully, Sheedy. He kicks, but unfortunately for Richmond, one point results. Oh, Jovi read the, uh, the knockout beautifully then, didn't he? Well, he's played pretty well today, Sheedy. A very sensible game, hasn't he? Well, you know, that uh, showed the experience and football brain of Sheedy, where others were running around wondering where it was going to go. He knew where it was going to go. Here's Farron kicking out once again, comes along the member stand flank once more, plenty of pushing and shoving. Greg goes up, and he's being paid the mark. Being paid the mark, Keith Greg. He's playing well, a very interesting tussle between he and Wood. Oh, he runs around Royce Hart, he's going for a run in towards the centre. Dench is telling him to keep going. Look at him go. Oh, hand pass over to David Dench. Oh, Dench to Cable, yeah. Cable's gone. In the back. Oh, Lux of fortune. By golly, didn't they put Cable on the hammer that time? There's Cable with the ball. That's centre field. He had no hope in the world of getting clear. The drop kick, a beautiful drop kick by Cable. Up they go. Punched away from Wade, but there's a free kick. Three. And the free kick will go to Clay. That back line has got those uh, North, uh, North Melbourne def uh, forwards really tied up down there. Wade going crook. Waiting on uh, Dick Clay. Sends the ball around towards that wing position on the outer side. Punched away. The ball on the ground. That's uh, Sam trying to get out. He's tripped in the back. And get a free kick. Kingovic to take the free kick. A little short of half forward. 64 points, Richmond. For North Melbourne, 39 as the ball goes into the goal square. There's a chance now for Goodingham to mark. Getting through is Peterson. Andrews can't pick it up. Peterson's got it now. He'll have a snapshot for a goal. And what is it? It's a goal! Goal! 
a goal and a handy one too. Seven goals, three. Well, that goal has kept them in the picture, one they badly needed. 9-11-65. Richmond for North Melbourne, 7-3-45. Only 20 points the difference. And we know that North Melbourne play their better football after half-time. Lou, it's 19 and a half minutes since they kicked a goal, North Melbourne. And in that time, Richmond have kicked one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, they want another one badly. Up they go again. Now it comes to Skekovic, can't pick it up. There's Sheedy playing a great game. Up towards that top position. And a mark taken there by Big Neil Baum. Oh. About 45 metres out from goal. Playing beautifully, Louis. What a tower of strength this fellow is. Six foot four and a half or six foot five and about 15 and a half stone. Tell you what, you'd need the Great Wall of China to stop him. Or a Sherman tank. The kick, he's already kicked one. That's his second. Ten goals, ten. Ten goals, ten. Uh, ten goals, eleven, I should say. That's uh, 71 points. The North Melbourne, 7-3, 45. He's only got 65 points up there, Michael. Yes, well, that's unusually slow for the uh, MCG scoreboard. Well, that's right. Unusually slow. Back in the centre. Robertson bounces. Players move in. Hasn't been a good quarter for North, but it's been a ripper for Richmond. Greg comes through there, bursts through the pack, puts his boot right into the ball, goes towards the pocket on the outer side. Look, Richmond defenders everywhere. Peterson had no hope in the world. They were all over the place, the Richmond defenders. There'll be a bounce some 50 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. Goodingham coming in once again. Green uh, gets a tap away, however. A chance here for Cable. Cable steadies. He shoots. Goal to North Melbourne. They're battling away. That'll give them heart. There's a the siren. For half-time in the 74 grand final, with the scoreboard reading, Richmond 10-11, 71, North Melbourne 8-3, 51.